All right, here we go. It's gonna be my first time doing this, so y'all kind of stay with me. But this is what I want to do. I want to reach y'all the story, and this is gonna be a true story, straight out the Bible. Nothing false about it. Everything is 100% true. Okay, um, I'm going to read this. This is when Elijah was taken up to heaven. And I'm going to read this. I may get some words wrong here and there. And I'm going to read this from the, the I think it's the uh, New International Version. So, um, I don't read King James. It's got too many the, 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 and all this stuff. So, I get taunt to us reading that. So, uh, long story short, let's get into this. Uh, we're going to read from the Bible today. And we're just going to look at these stories, you know? So, let me do this and then I'm going to get to reading. A lot of people say, this is Satan, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, we're going to get to reading. He may not take me serious, go smoking, but that. We finna go. Okay. Elijah taken up to heaven. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, you know, uh, Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, stay here. The Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elijah said, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. Okay. Uh, the company of the prophets at Bethel came out of Elisha and asked, Do you know that your Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, Elisha replied. So be quiet. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, Elisha. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. So they gone to Jericho now. Uh, the company of prophets at Jericho went up to Elisha and asked him, Do you know that the Lord is going to take your master from you today? Yes, I know, he replied. So be quiet. So he, he, hey man, everywhere I go, man, everybody telling me this, and I already know this, so. Why don't y'all be quiet? Then Elijah said to him, stay here. The Lord has sent me to the, to the Jordan. As he replied, as surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So the two of them walked on. So they go. Fifty men from the company of prof of the prophets went and stood at the distance, at a distance, facing the place where Elijah and Elisha had stopped at the Jordan. Water. Elijah took his cloak, rolled it up, and struck the water with it. The water divided to the right. And to the left, and the two of them crossed on over on dry ground. So, this is a true story now. Um, let me let me get y'all. Y'all might be like, man, why is he telling us this bullshit? No, this is a true story. So he got out of his cloak, rolled it up, struck it over the water with it, and the, the water divided to the right and to the left. And the two of them crossed over on dry ground. So, see I thought, well, I, you know, as far as you get to reading, I was thinking that Moses was the only one that uh, could split some water, but I was mistaken. I see that Elijah is now, that he can split water too, at the Jordan. Uh, this is a true story now, they, they split water. Okay, now, um, when they had crossed, 
Elijah said to Elisha, tell me what can I do for you before I am taken from you? So hey man, what you want? You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go. Like they getting out the pen. So hey man, you can get these these flippers or whatever. I don't know what they do in the pen, but that's what I got. So, uh, but it's kind of like that. Hey, I'm finna go. What you want, man? I'm, I can give you what, what you want. I give you something. So, uh, he said to him, "Let me inherit a double portion of your spirit." Elijah replied and you have asked a difficult thing Elijah said yet if you see me when I am taken from you it will be yours otherwise it will not so otherwise it will not so as they were walking along and talking together suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind let me repeat that as they were walking along so they just walking you know they just walking they just walking they walking now they they, they walking you know both of them they talking you know and uh all of a sudden out of nowhere a chariot of fire horses of fire appeared so I want you to put yourself you know put yourself thinking that you know uh, you walking you and your homeboy walking or whatever and a chariot of fire and horses of fire come and take him away from you uh, I mean you know and then they take him up into heaven so let's talk about let me just divert off this right quick so he take him up into heaven so I don't know exactly where heaven is nobody never really described it you know where it's at but I do know that you know if somebody came and cheered up fire and a horses of fire came and took someone away from me I would be looking at them leave and they would be going up and up and up and just think about how far they have to go that what atmosphere they have to leave the atmosphere and, and go how did I am right now you know what I'm saying like they got to go just think about all the galaxies and stuff to where we can't even see where this heaven has to be because we done look so many so many millions and millions and light years away so we know that Elijah had to go light years a whole bunch of light years away so different atmospheres you know uh, no space suit I don't even think you know some of the atmosphere he might space suit ain't gonna do you that but however let's go let's continue going on so, uh, where are we at? Where we was at? Uh, oh, the uh, the fire taking the chariots. Okay, and Elijah went up to heaven in the world. With. Elijah saw this and cried out, My father, my father, the chariots and horsemen of Israel. And Elijah saw him no more. Then he took hold of his garment and tore it into two uh, tore it into okay now Elijah then picked up Elijah's cloak that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan he took the cloak that had fallen from Elijah and stuck it in the 